now that Conor McGregor has tried and failed, who do you think has the best shot at beating Habib Nurmagomedov? Here are your choices, guys. Tony Ferguson, Kevin Lee, Dustin Poirier, or other. And if you choose other, go ahead and uh, state the name and you know the reason why. Dan Tom? Uh, yeah, I've, I've stated many times I think Kevin Lee and, and Tony Ferguson have the best shot. Um, Dustin Poirier, you know, I, I could see him right up there too. Uh, you know, all worthy names and, and the other. I'm interested to see what, 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 you know, the listeners put for their others. But uh, it really doesn't matter what you put for other because Tony Ferguson's, you know, is the guy for me. Um, you know, he's been he's been an underdog around plus two two fifty ish. So the odds makers don't have a lot of faith. The general public don't seem to have a lot of faith in him. But he has, uh, in my opinion, you know, you're splitting hairs. One of the most legitimate win streaks. But more importantly than the win streak, it's his style. Um, he can kind of do everything. He can do it all, and he can outlast. He's used to taking damage. He's he only gets better as the fight goes on. And uh, even if he does, you know, end up on his back, he's really active from submissions to elbows, um, creating scrambles. He's a hard guy to hold down. He makes you work for everything you everything you uh, every, everything you own in there. I think honestly, it, uh, Khabib is, could go down as the most dominant lightweight in UFC history. But Tony Ferguson's the worst matchup for him. All right, how about you, Andrew Simon? Who do who do you think? I I think. Uh, Ferguson 100% is his hardest matchup of that group and then if we want to go a little heavier throw Ben Askren in and have a little bit of wrestling with Khabib and I, I think Ben Askren I, I don't think he gets down to 155 does he often? I no mean, he he's, only he's, at 170, he at 170. But, only but, but he's kind of like an undersized 170 yeah I just wondered if he'd cut for the money to, to, right. to get a mm, Khabib yeah. fight and you know, maybe I, they could I, super fight at sixty-five. Yeah, I, I think I think he would present a lot of problems too. Um, it might not be the most exciting fight in the world, and Ben will probably call in and curse me out for that. But um, <laughs> I, I just think he he might have a a good field day with Khabib um, in that wrestling department a little bit and, and cause some problems. Otherwise, I just think Ferguson, a healthy Ferguson, I'm not sure the one the other day um, would do it yet. I think he needs another fight or two, frankly, to make sure that knee is healed up and he's got the explosiveness and everything he needs. But he did that with not being 100%, in my opinion, uh, with Pettis. But I still think he is the biggest problem for Khabib. Goes? Man, seeing those two names booked again would absolutely drive me crazy, but it's the right thing to do. And I think Tony Ferguson is the guy. But it's so crazy that Habib Nurmagomedov, for as dominant as he is, all of these guys would be a pretty tough matchup for him. And even if you go outside in the other realm, you got your Michael Chandler's, you got your Eddie Alvarez. Like every single one of those guys could present a pretty good fight for Habib. So it's weird to even say that with him being so dominant. But Tony Ferguson, I think, may be that guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll reveal the stats here. I mean, 5,118 voted, and they're all with you guys. Tony Ferguson, and that's, I mean, the way, the way he looked at UFC 229, how can you not say Tony Ferguson? He was a beast, all right? A lot of us thought that. Even before uh, UFC 229, but UFC 229 just took him to another level. I do want to make a plug though for Kevin Lee. Who, Kevin Lee's been a guy who, when he wasn't even like a top 15 or top 10 guy, he was also throwing out the name Habib when others weren't. Um, and then after seeing what he can do, you know, um, put you on your back. That's the interesting thing to me is how Habib would be tested there if Kevin were to be able to put him on his back. Um, but the first thing you got to do is stop Habib's pressure, you know, and, and you have to deal with all that. And the, and the one thing Ferguson has that Kevin doesn't is just a better gas tank. So I think overall, uh, even though I homer a little bit for Kevin Lee, I, th I think Tony Ferguson's the, the proper response. Not only should he be next, but he probably does have the best shot at beating Habib Nurmagomedov. Now, that said, I also think Kevin Lee could take him. All right. Uh, again, 5,118 voted. 75% said Tony Ferguson. 14% said Kevin Lee. 3% said Dustin Poirier, and 8% said others. Others could have been like what Andrew said, uh, Ben Askren, or like uh, the interview that we had earlier this week, Michael Chandler. He definitely threw his hat in there as well. But uh, it remains to be seen what will happen with the Nevada State Athletic Commission, and then we'll see who's next for Habib Nurmagomedov. Uh, that's the big mystery as of right now. All right. Uh, thank you very much for listening to the Daily Debate, including Access TV Fights CEO Andrew Simon.